Loss of a mind is a terrible thing. But this time, I think I'll make an exception. Fucking hell. It's over. And here I was, worried I'd become some grotesque, deformed beast. <laughs> I would say no offense meant, but, uh, well, look at you. And rightly so. You are better now than you have ever been. This victory would not have been possible without you. I will never forget that. The Githyanki are leaving. It would have been hard to imagine parting ways from them peacefully once. So, Lazel, will you be joining them? The Netherbrain is dead. To slay a Gaeh was my sworn duty. I must call out to Tunorath. My ascension's at hand. I saw something more for us once. But you are Geich. My path cannot be yours. My purpose was ordained before I hatched. Vlakith is the wind that bears me and the fire that warms me. You are an honorable ally. I thought I would carry you. In truth, you oft carried me. I won't forget it. Silence now. I will speak the right. Vlakith Barnazin. Vlakith Ixaith. Vlakith Trinasaji. You quiver in spite of yourself. Lazel shouts to the astral plane, seeking an answer. And before long, she has one. A red dragon to carry me to Tunarath. The Queen's covenant is fulfilled. You look on as Lazel soars to an uncertain fate. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. You are a mind flare, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike are ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. Soon you will not be able to trust yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption. Or not. Perhaps you are unique among illithid kind. Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature. A rogue mind flayer. Like the Emperor, the risk is certainly yours to take. Will you? You have thwarted the Illithid Grand Design. You have defeated three Chosen and a Nether Brain. You are miraculous. And you have earned the right to live. Your fate will be what you make of it. Now you are your own master. 
But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. And once I have, I'll return it to Mistra. She'll cure me of my affliction. And I'll finally be free. Ugh, oh, no. Having seen what we've seen of those who chase godhood, I'm quite content with my mortality. A wise man learns from his mistakes and strives not to repeat them. I shall bring the crown to Mistra. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. Ah, that might be the smartest thing you've ever said, Gail. What do you think? Time for a quick one? Before the work begins again? Quite right. As long as it's still you in there, and you haven't completely lost your mind. Their concerns are so trifling, are they not? Look at you. You're glorious. The greatest ally I could have wished for. You know, this partnership doesn't have to end here. You and I could do wonderful things. We could rebuild the Knights of the Shield and run it together. What do you say? To business then, we have much to discuss. It's hard to say what your companions make of you now. Their faces betray only confusion. Their one face is notably missing. Carlag. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? It 
it's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire. No death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Well, soldier, here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zariel's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods, like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, there was you. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget... You asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. invitation came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw. Cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned, a familiar, comforting voice echoed in your mind. Withers, you requested your attendance in Faerun, to gather with your friends and allies, those who stood against the absolute at your side. A reprieve from the blood war. A few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. 
Carlac's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours, but it might burst with joy to see those friends again. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. I expect there have been other reunions. Now, there's a face I know well indeed. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? <sighs> then again, maybe we won't sleep at all. Me too, my love. See you soon. Come here, you goon. Oh, hey, before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. You may remember my old friend Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. <sighs> we might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. Lest I lose control and slip into bear form. Do my eyes deceive me? The gang really is all. Here. Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy, educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. Pleasure to remake your acquaintance. She did not. I'm delighted to report. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like... Exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Illusory magic has the power to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all, imagination. Had you the decades to spare, I think you'd prove quite adept at it, as you did in that first lesson I taught you. It was quite something to share such a moment with you, though it vanished all too quickly. 
teaching you was hardly an effort at all. Not like my present cohort of apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course, when they can manage to stay awake. The cheek of them! Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? Living life to the full, even as an illithid. <laughs> Inspirational stuff. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'll be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Never fear. My students are as open-minded and generous a bunch as you'll find north of the Giontha. And I'll remind them of their manners. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -mm. Uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. We have time enough to come. All this stimulating conversation leaves you hungry. To speak is not enough. You wish to explore the brain of your friend with your beak. You would save his temporal lobe for last, if you were to eat, Gale. Language, learning, memory. You must have quite the fine example. The buffet table at this party bears pie, punch, and cocktail sausages. No respite shall be had at this pitiful schmorgers board. This is highly illogical. There are plenty of other craniums awaiting your suction. And this is a prize ally. And besides, this brain before you, its endorphins are in a joyous flow. It is a wonderful scent. The odor of friendship. There you I are. I, am I was hoping you'd make your way over. Of sun -fed plants. Well, look who it is. So, how are you enjoying the hells, my dear? I assume they're darling as ever. Oh, don't spoil the mood. We're here to have a good time, after all. Reminiscing with old... friends. Casador's mansion has become my palace and played host to every kind of banquet and soiree and masquerade imaginable. And, of course, has seen its fair share of hedonism, clandestine deals and the occasional disappearance. Whatever it takes to build up my influence over those who matter. I'm spinning my web. Power grows slowly. 
But I have nothing but time now. Try to wound me all you like, but I'm so much better than he ever was. I achieved what he only dreamed about. And now my ambitions can take me anywhere I want. But the important thing is I am doing wonderfully. Finally having a life that's worth living. And who knows what's next? There's an entire world out there, ready for the taking. You see, this is why I always liked you. You can see the big picture. What needs to be done. I did miss you, you know. There is a sense of loneliness that comes with power. We did share a wonderful adventure, you and I. A pity to see it end in some ways. But we have great new lives stretching out before us. And great new adventures to go on. I will never forget the time we spent together, though. And I know you'll never forget me. Until next time. Darling. Beautiful thing. So, than any of them. here we are. A gathering of allies at a cold campsite with servants to attend us and few luxuries to enjoy. Ah, oh, we could have been conquerors. We could have ruled these realms as gods. Do you ever regret that we did not take control of the Netherbrain? You may be right, but I cannot help but wish we had tried. That is in the past, though. Regrets are of little value, unless they are fuel for future victories. <laughs> Few mortals have stood against gods and monsters as we have, and live to tell the tale. We can write our own stories now, and leave our mark on these realms. I feared that returning to the Underdark as an apostate of Loth would be an act of madness. Perhaps it was. If so, it is a madness that fits me well. Rebels swarm to my cause, and even if it takes centuries, I will reclaim my house in Menzo Baranzan. <laughs> and make the Spider Queen bleed. Gods, it's good to see you. Tentacles and all. I... Hold on a moment. Do you smell that? You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, tender violets, and an earthy fragrance you can't quite recognize. Forest trees draped in moss, bittersweet, smoky, and that faintest hint of vanilla. Reminds me of the wild and oak, the oldest and most storied tree in all of the Sword Coast. I haven't visited since the Absolute fell. Turns out rebuilding a city requires more than a simple wave of a duke's hand. Bargains must be made, alliances must be forged, Customs must be considered. Father leaves me to my own devices, though he's got no shortage of advice when I ask for it. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, 
to be clear. I can't imagine not having you at my side. Father's very well, and back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with as brave a heart as ever. Floric, bless her soul, convinced him to withhold the lashings and scoldings, though I know he was tempted. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Mazora's kept me on a long leash, if you can believe it. She hasn't ordered any murder sprees or any diabolical errands, but she insists on joining diplomatic missions in human guise. Her beauty and bargaining talents have even been a boon. Neverwinter's lord denied me a boat full of his finest masons till Mazora pressed her lips to his ear. A whisper breathed, a bargain made. Whatever her game, I'm bound by her rules. My future will never be fully my own. But I'll fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant, should Zariel's hell's touched fingers stretch towards Baldur's Gate. And Mazora knows it. I've had more than a few challenges, given the horns sprouting from my head. The people know me as one of the champions who saved their beloved city. They know Raven Guard blood flows through my veins. The Patriarchs, the aristocracy, the councils of Waterdeep and Arm. Their arms aren't so wide open. Still, there's no friction that can't be greased with a sly promise or a proposition. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. Well, I am not normally given to imbibing, but this is a special occasion, and I believe our dear Withers procured a fine honey mead as part of the celebratory victuals. Even the most ascetic of nature servants would be tempted by such an elixir. But that can wait. Your company is what truly drew me. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. Please, spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat given the lifetime I have lived. 
I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. I am all ears, though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. I see. Perhaps the children can learn something from your ambition in the face of adversity. Hmm. Thank you. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. I was hoping you'd ask. The day I weary of those lips is the day I weary of life. Before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Oh, I am well aware, trust me. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. Just the same old chat. Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. Your higher form has brought with it some higher manners, then. <laughs> I'm glad the months have not been wasted. Particularly as I spent them cleaning up the mess we made of the city. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Hmm, what else? Helping. Whether I ask for it or no. Harpers! have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing aid funds. They might learn a thing or two, if they don't expel her. Again. Ah, yes, forgive me. There wasn't much time to offer hospitality with an elder brain looming over the city. They ask about you, of course. <laughs> but I keep them a little too busy for stories. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house, a harper network to rebuild. 
I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Garlac is lucky to have you. And know that you are not forgotten. If your friends don't drag you from the hells, it will only be because you freed yourself first. But there will be more to discuss on that matter. First, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Ha! <laughs> ah, breathe deep, Pooh! The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Ah, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and his hamster both. Oh, and for Happy also. Ah, uh, yes. Um, honored, of course. <laughs> See how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. It is just this day that Happy learned of your legend, while we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, for two hours. Eh, the guild should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them, hmm? It is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing exome. Up. The most recently a long and winding stairway to the High Hall. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels. And so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site. Even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. Oh, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh. Oh, God. But enough, my friend. I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been, what you have done. Who has been admiring the sheen of goo upon your slimy form? He says it twinkles in the starlight. Now, halfling, Bu will not have you embarrassing him in front of his friends. So you are to know the rest of the company you keep. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, Devil Horned and Angel Hearted. Lord Astarian. As murderous a monster as any I've known. But you are safe from his teeth. He is unlikely to stoop and split those fine trousers of his. Shadowheart. Two gods tugged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, Boo, did, did she do something with her hair? Halsin, archdruid of archers somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. And there, the champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane, Devil's Bane, Merkel Ball and Bane Bane. 
Once the guild is made of good nymphs once more, Bull shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back. And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, then not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. For the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. Who never falter in their duty. And more than this, who never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait! Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join them. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking, um, well. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Who says you're the titular hero, hmm? Oh, I jest, probably. But believe you me, I couldn't have written a word without you. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. There you are. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Hilarious. You could find work as a jester, if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more... Substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all.
That sounds... foreboding. I'm not entirely sure I want to know more. Try and behave, at least. And if you can't behave, maybe slip me a warning to keep my distance? Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Don't remind me. Someone's always got somewhere else to be. But let's do our best all the same. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. I will never get tired of seeing that face. Thou searchest for the strongest warrior amongst thine band, Lazel, who ascended to the stars. And now she is gone. It is as she wished. It is as all Githyanki wish. I asked thee once, what is the value of a single life? For many of the Gith, it can be measured. A single evening's supper for the Lich Queen. To be ascended is to be consumed. Perhaps that is so. Vlakith's hunger has known the heads of 50,000 of her subjects. But Lazelle was, perhaps, greater than the rest. I know not where Lazelle of Kalir is. I cannot sense her presence. Perhaps thou could. Know this. Her courage never faltered, her soul never waned. She accomplished all she e'er sought out. If she had fallen in battle, she would never have known regret. If she'd been killed in her duty, she would have known herself true. If Vlakith claimed her, it was Lazel's honor to be claimed. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sew, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you.